Previously on The Final Pitch, three of our four investors have already come face to face with their chosen entrepreneurs. Jet Yu of Prime Philippines, Dino Araneta of Quadex, and Mikey Romero of Philippines Air Asia. The entrepreneurs have also gone through business challenges that tested their smarts, skills, and grit. As entrepreneurs, you will need to balance risk and creativity. You have to do all these things with a smile. Sometimes if you're losers, you're losers, but we always come out winners. XX! Hooray! Now our last batch of entrepreneurs meet their potential investor. The founder and CEO of Mega Global Corporation, William Tiu Lim. My name is John Aguilar, and I'm an entrepreneur television producer based in Manila. I've gathered four illustrious investors looking to fund and support the next great Filipino company. William Q. Lim, founder of Mega Global Corporation, makers of the number one sardines in the country, Mega Sardines. Dino Araneta, trailblazing founder and CEO of Experience Innovation and Digital Logistics Company, QuadX. Jet Yu, millennial dealmaker and CEO of property advisory firm Prime Philippines. And Mikey Romero, billionaire sportsman, port operator, and co founding owner of Philippines Air Asia. Our goal is to find the best up and coming entrepreneurs and help take their businesses to the next level. In the end, they face the investors in a once in a lifetime funding round. Many will try, but only a few will make it to the final pitch. I'm William Tiulim, CEO and President of Mega Global, formerly Mega Fishing. It was curiosity that first got William interested in the idea of putting up his own fishing business. He got challenged by how things were being done and how he could further improve the business. It was during the time when I was in the department store business of my father. It's during one of these visits to my girlfriend's house that I got to know their business. So they are in fishing business, so it became a challenge on my part. Parang mas magandang fishing kaysa department so. So nagiging challenge, so I try to learn the business and even to the extent of going to the fishing grounds to take a look at how they operate their business. Sa umpisa parang madali lang, pero nung pala patagal ng patagal, pahirap ng pahirap ang building, o oh, sige, it took some time. Nakatapos din ng building of business after about one and a half years. So we start operating the vessels. During the beginning of the business, I don't have much time for my children. It's only now wherein I'm enjoying not my son, but my mga apos, now wherein I have more, more time for them. Sacrifices had to be made, but in the end, the rewards were all worth it. William now owns the number one sardines brand in the country and is slowly getting recognition in the international market. I met them one Saturday afternoon in one of their XCOM meetings. I was introduced by a friend of mine who happens to be one of their consultants. It was a very impressive first encounter for me. Hindi mo akalain ganong kasimple yung isang head ng isang malaking, very successful company like Mega Global Corporation. That first meeting became even more impressive for me as I got to know more about how Mega Global has evolved and how. Uh, under Sir William's leadership, they've been able to put together uh, world-class, best-in-class fishing and canning operations. Si Boss William, wala sumay ako dito, halos kilala ko na. Uh, mga ilabot ako dito ng 20 years. Siya mismo nag-hire sa akin sa, sa Manila. Tapos nahari niya ako, dito na sa Sabuanga, bilang mega na. Parang tatay ko na rin. Siyempre, lahat-lahat na parang problema ko eh. Sa kanya, so, malaking bagay siya po sa akin. Kasi ah, lahat-lahat, mga anak ko, nakatapos na rin dito sa Miga. Lahat tulong nila. As a father, my dad didn't have much time for us when we were young. He would always teach us about the value of business. When I was young, I would go to the office. I would completely do nothing but play. But he made it a habit for us to bring us to the office regularly. As we grew up, uh, we had to migrate to Canada. And then we were there for seven years. My dad will fly back and forth. My fondest memories would always be when he would come to Canada to uh, see us again. It was uh, understood that he had to come home and he had to take care of the business by himself. And he sacrificed for seven years to do that. 
His work ethic as a businessman made all the difference for the success of Mega Sardines. My father is very hardworking. He's the most hardworking person I've known. He goes to the office even on Saturdays. His mind is always working. He doesn't stop working. One thing that strikes me about Sir William is his humility. He is always open-minded, always seeking the better way, going for the higher result. He listens to everyone's opinion and suggestions, always gives each one due consideration, and you never hear him defend a position or justify. I believe uh, is the main reason for being so successful as a, an entrepreneur and as the head of a company. And you can see that his ambitions are not for himself, but for the business. Humility, ambitions for the company, not for himself. And fierce resolve, para sa akin, that is an ideal business leader. With a full treasure trove of knowledge and experience, William is always generous in sharing business and life lessons. For me, I want to share this knowledge to our people para at least they would be able to use this. What's the use of uh, having those knowledge if you don't want to share? So it's all about uh, sharing, it's all about leaving a legacy wherein where do we come from and where we want to go. He always tells me that you have to be honest with people. You have to give the people what is due to them. That's why he is here in this business. He's very kind-hearted. When discussions get a bit fired up, and at the end of the meeting, he always gives credit to his wife. That is uh, very admirable. How he keeps encouraging his children to take on the leadership role, to make the big decisions. That is one of the things that I see to be a big factor in the success of the company. Character is one of the most important qualities of a good businessman and entrepreneur. I think people respect him a lot because he has achieved a lot already in his age. He makes uh, decisions slowly and wisely. Um, he is a very credible man with a very good reputation. I think that is in his character. He doesn't really chase after the money. He chases after the innovation, the accomplishments, the, the impact that he can have on uh, the company and also the society. He continues to innovate and invite other people to join him in his journey. Not willing to rest on his laurels, William still strives for more. Motivation comes from doing things better, you know, improvement. Can we do better than this? Even if you're on top, there's always room for improvement. Idea na Filipino brand like Mega Sardines can achieve something globally. He considers the entrepreneurs he has picked for the final pitch. One of my picks is uh, the salt. Where I can see that in the province, there is no current. So with the salt, at least they can get a lot of flavor. But you need a lot of development. The question is, what happens if we scale up? Second is gold manok. We are innovative since we are the food business. And we have ideas to input so that it can be done. One what? Because we have a lot of machineries. Nung pinipresent ito na hindi kailangan contact, sabi ko, this would be innovative. Chile ba ni? Pero wala akong alam dyan eh. Pinik na mga ano, investors namin na gantong ano kasi mahilig sila sa gaming eh. Pero nakikita ko ng prospect, maganda naman. There would be a lot of hardships. Tsaga lang talaga, you solve one problem at a time. Once you solve the problem, next time may problema ganito, alam mo na kung anong gagawin. So it's easy for you to adjust. If you get frustrated, humina ang loob mo because of failure, the failure is the one that will be strengthening you to achieve some more and to be better in the sense that um, from failure, how could you turn that into a success? Don't give up. Tuli-tuli mo yan at uh, kaya natin yan. Up next on the final pitch, the entrepreneurs meet the founder of Mega Sardines and cast off for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. My experience kung sumakay sa sonership and makita itself kung paano siya ginagamit ng Mega Sardines. Hindi siya madali. Hello, entrepreneurs. Hi, John. Welcome to Prime Hotel, the headquarters of Mega Global Corporation. So you are here today because you have been the chosen picks of investor William Pugh Lim. 
So this is your opportunity to get to know Mr. Lim and the culture of his company. And this is also the opportunity for him to get to know the four of you more intimately. So entrepreneurs, please help me welcome your potential future investor, Mr. William Thieu Lim. Yes. Hello, entrepreneur. Welcome to our head office of uh, Mega Global here in Prime Hotel. I'd like to welcome you to our uh, office, maybe take a tour around to see how we are doing business. So let's go, guys. Admin, HR, sa second floor. Third floor, it's accounting, audit. So entrepreneurs, I trust that you had a nice tour with Mr. Lim. Prior to going here, we did ask you to bring an extra change of clothes. No, you will not be staying in this hotel. But we will now ask you to fly to Zamboanga, where you will be witnessing the canning process of your favorite mega sardines. Nakita ko reaction ni Zamboanga. Mukong nagulat kayo. Anyway, my son Marvin would be there to meet you. And I'll be there also to give you insights and to give you the business challenge when you're there. And hopefully that you could see the process of how sardines are being made in Zamboanga. Good luck to you. Bon voyage. Hello entrepreneurs, welcome to Zamboanga and welcome to the Talisayan canning plant of Mega Global Corporation. So welcome entrepreneurs, this is Mega Sardine's second canning plant. It is a state-of-the-art canning plant, ISO certified and also FSSC certified. We can produce here a maximum of 1.4 million cans per day and 500 million cans per year. So one of the best ways to find out about your potential future partner is to find out about their operations. So today, Marvin will tour you around the plant. So please, uh, join me inside and I'll teach you how to make your own canned sardines. The entrepreneurs not only get to see how the sardines are canned, they also get a first-hand experience of the stringent process that the sardines undergo. Once I went inside the factory, I realized that the product is well maintained and the fish were very, very fresh. And I even saw that they were taking temperatures of the fish one by one to make sure that there's no contamination or histamines. I observed that the people who are living in the plant know that they know what they are doing. They are also experts on where they are doing the process of making the sardines. And you can see how they are focused on what they are doing so that they end the quality product of Mega Sardines that we have now. M of One Watt also gets a chance to demonstrate how his invention is used in a live environment. I was given a conveyor belt to monitor, but since this was a quick tour, I just tried it for a few minutes. Since there, I still need to upload it to our AI, we'll see what the results are. Now that the entrepreneurs have seen how the sardines are canned, it's now time to go to the source. Welcome to Kawit Port of Mega Global Corporation. This is the jump off point of all of the ships that go out to catch the sardines of the company. Now I trust that you had a good tour. It's time for your business challenge. But before that, please help me welcome the man who started everything, the CEO of Mega Global Corporation, Mr. William Thieu Lim. Hello, welcome to Mega Global. This is our port, uh, wherein uh, most of the fishing boats are docked. Here you would be uh, transported going to the fishing grounds. Our business challenge to you guys is to create the next Mega Sardines marketing campaign. With what you've learned through this tour and what you will learn in the process of catching the fish, we would want you to create something meaningful and something original that can resonate to our consumers. So good luck with that. We are giving you 48 hours for this challenge. So learn as much as you can, absorb as much as you can, because in 48 hours, you will be pitching to Mr. William Thieu Lim and his board for what could possibly be Mega Sardine's 
next marketing campaign. So with that, I would like to invite you to get on board so that we can go to the fishing grounds. Bon voyage to you, happy trip and happy fishing. For their business challenge, M of 1 Watt and Leslie of Salt form Team SWAT. While Paula of Gormanok and Justin of Z Leveling make up Team Gormaling. Wasting no time, the entrepreneurs immediately brainstorm to formulate their campaigns. After boarding the ship, me and my partner already strategized. We were trying to think of possible things to do, but the thing is, it was not easy. From the port of Kawit, it's an eight-hour, 56-nautical mile journey to the sardine fishing grounds located in the Sulu Sea. Mega Global competes with other fishing boats from other fishing companies for its share of the catch. Skill and the experience of the crew plays a vital role in the success of the expedition. After almost eight hours of travel, the entrepreneurs finally reach the fishing grounds. This is where we fish uh, for sardines. As you can see, it's very bright around us. There's a lot of vessels fishing right now. We're now going to transfer to the sonar boat. The sonar boat is the one responsible in finding the fish that is underneath the water. Welcome to the bridge, guys. This is the bridge of our sonar boat. This is Capitan Alpha Papa. He is our operations manager here in the fishing ground. He is responsible for bringing millions and millions of fish into our cans. So, um, my experience kung sumakay sa sonar ship and makita itself kung paano siya ginagamit ng mega sardines. So, hindi siya madali. Sabi nga nung captain, it takes a lot of experience and expertise para mabasa mo kung nasa tamang track ka ba. na amazed ako sa level of technology that they employ just to find the sardines. In my head, parang iniisip ko lang before na parang, okay, may bangka, nag-drag-drag sila ng lambat, eventually may mahuli siya mga sandinas at yun lang. Hindi ko alam na, ang daming processes na involved. So, while they search for the fish, fishermen here have treated us to their wonderful delicacy here in the Laon or the fishing grounds. Here, they catch daily a fresh kuracha. So, they served us some and I hope you like it. So, go ahead. Yup. Sweet. Now that the sonar boat has identified the location of the sardines, it's now time to witness the actual catching. It was quite amazing because during that period, it was the highlight for me. It was my first time seeing lots of fish and I saw how fresh the fish were and how they were transferred. I was amazed at how adept they were doing. They don't even need to talk to each other. Parang may pito pito lang na eto may pipito alam nang gagawin ng other side and so on so systematic na talaga yung process nila for the whole process so ang palipat-lipat namin ng ships paghuli ng isda it took quite long hours just to catch the fish and then knowing yung yung lat presyo ng latang yun ganun lang pala it's very worth it for the price. The whole experience itself, para sa akin, mas na-value ko dahil na-experience ko mismo yung proseso ng paggawa ng sardinas. Team Gormaling and Team Swat, you guys look very tired. I know that you hardly slept. At least you ate well. You have now only 24 hours to finish your challenge. So I hope you come up with a really kick-ass marketing campaign for Mega Global. This will decide who wins this challenge for Mega Global and William Q. For now, it's time to go back to Manila. Up next on the final pitch, it's now time to hear the pitches of the entrepreneurs for what will hopefully be the next marketing campaign of Mega Sardines. 
Why bagong? Bakit hindi buksan ang sarap? Mega is not new. Because we believe that with Mega, everything is possible. So that's where we came up with the bago part. Pero sa akin, hindi nakaka-relate ang Mega. It has to be identifiable. Back at the headquarters of Mega Global Corporation, the entrepreneurs now prepare their presentations in the hopes that their pitch could possibly become the next marketing campaign of Mega Sardines. Joining the panel who will judge the entrepreneurs is the Mega Global Investor Team. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time to hear the pitches of the entrepreneurs for what will hopefully be the next marketing campaign of Mega Sardines. First up, we have Paula from Gormanok and Justin from Z Leveling, collectively known as Gormalink. Mega Global Corporation. Tayo sa Mega ay Megaling. Megaling mag-alaga ng pamilya dahil sa lahat ng aspeto ng buhay ng pamilyang Pilipino, nandun ang Mega Sardines. Tayo sa Mega ay Megaling magmalasakit sa kapwa. Sa hirap ginhawa, tuwa at saya, nandun ang Mega Sardines para kaagapay ng bawat Pilipino. This is our digital campaign. Share your Megaling story using the hashtag Megaling Ako and be our next Megaling star. What we are campaigning is on social media which give interaction between the consumer and us. And they will share their, their stories on how Megaling um, changes their lives. So, thank you. What inspired you to come up with this proposal? Based on YouTube, wala pang story about someone on outside the company. So, it's perfect time na yung consumers naman magbibigay ng story para sa company natin. I like the idea. You're influencing the emotional aspect of the people. Who are you trying to reach out to? Sir, ako ang naisip ko from A to E. Kasi sir, ang produkto ng Mega hindi naman from CDE ilang na class ng tao. Kasi we have the Mega Sardines na 15 pesos and we have the premium brands. So hindi namin nililimit yung mga pwede naming maging target sa digital campaign po na ito. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Satisfied naman kami ng ka-team ko sa presentation namin. Kasi kung paano namin siya pinaghandaan is gano'n naman namin na-present. Ang nakulangan lang ako, sir, they, don't, they didn't talk about any features, or funding, or budget requirement. Ah. <laughs> uh, pero at least, the idea is there. Oh. So, let's not, uh, let's try Hindi to build on that. Eh. Oh. <laughs> Maganda rin, paano, how, how do you make it viral para one up to the other makuha na. The viral is important. Up next is Team SWAT. For the last 48 hours, we've been interacting with the Mega Global team. And with that, we've realized that there are lots of things that we like, but there's one thing that's stuck in particular with us. It's the fact that Mega Global is a very forward-looking company, which is always looking to innovate and always looking forward to what's new. So with that, we think that Mega is always open for possibilities. Open Mega, open possibilities. Imagine this, a group of hikers, uh, obviously very tired, then we focus on one female hiker. Yes, she's obviously a lot less fit than the others, a lot more hesitant. But then she pulls out this pouch of mega sardines. And with every spoonful that she ate, the hesitance in her eyes slowly disappears. Then another guy asks her, Tara, game? And without hesitation, she now says, game. She now takes on her bag and continues on their arduous hike. Buksan ng Mega, buksan mga bagong karanasan. Hashtag buksan ang bago. We started uh, our marketing plan in the boat. I think we were trying out different ideas and comparing it with their previous campaigns. I think this is a very interesting idea. You're talking about bringing about transformation plus an imaginable possibilities that Mega brings about. Why bago? Bakit hindi buksan ang sarap or ano? Kasi mega is not new, de ba? We know that it's it's been because there for a long time. Honestly, we were thinking na bago mga bago sa buhay, like new experiences. Because we believe that with mega, everything is possible. And with that, 
new possibilities, new Bago. things, new careers, new experiences. So that's where we came up with the Bago part. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Okay. So, medyo ibang concept na ito. So, what do you think? I find it very interesting. The thing is, this was inspired by the values that they see inside the mega global company. And I think their intention is through this campaign, those values will be projected for the appreciation of the people. Although they say they target everyone, I think it appeals more to the younger generation. Pero sa akin, it's a... Kasi buksan ng bago. Hindi nakaka-relate ang mega na dun sa ano. Kasi hashtag is, it is to be identifiable. Yeah, it's, it's more of maybe subliminal identification, not too straightforward. I'm sure you enjoyed both presentations. Right now, I'd like to call in once again both teams. Team Gormalink and Team SWAT. Thank you for uh, fantastic presentations. Thank you also for enduring the trip to Sambuanga and to the fishing grounds. I hope that uh, you can see the sacrifices of the fishermen and the canning factory worker in producing a very consistent quality product of mega sardines. So they have deliberated who has won amongst the two of you, but we will not reveal the winners tonight. We will reveal the winner during the final pitch. But for now, once again, congratulations to all. Next time on The Final Pitch, we look back at the journey of the entrepreneur so far and get a behind-the-scenes look at some of the memorable highlights of The Final Pitch Season 2. He should have stuck a screwdriver in one of their wheels. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Are you guys going to let us do that? What's up, John? Oh. <laughs> <laughs>